This next example shows a multi-layered approach. Although we've heard parts of this in the previous sounds, this one sort of uses it on three levels. One at the attack, one at the sustain, and one at the release level, and creates a complex evolving sound. So let's have a look. We're using two sawtooth waveforms. They're slightly detuned from one another, only slightly. We've got them both operating in a low octave and we've got them both set at approximately the same level of mix. So in a sense it's the same pitch in the same octave, slightly detuned, and this will give it a kind of thicker uh, beating sound. My modulator is set to a triangle and I've got the frequency set to three. I'm gonna use a little bit of tremolo on one of the oscillators whilst turning the other one right down. This way we'll have one that kind of moves and tremolos forward whilst beating against the other oscillator. Finally, we've got the filter, and I made this a relatively bright sound, getting it to around about 1.7 kilohertz, and I've set the Q to about 13 to give it a bit of resonance. The modulation of the filter is fairly low, just to give it a bit more movement, whilst the envelope is much higher. Over here, we've got a relatively short attack, a very fast decay, and a lower level sustain and my release time is quite long. My attack time for my filter is much slower, so it takes longer for the actual frequency content to come through and build up, or for the cutoff point to come up. My decay is relatively fast, and my sustain level for this is high. And similarly, the release time is very closely matched to the volume envelope. I've turned up the reverb time here to about 70 to give it a bit of space. Okay, let's have a listen. Just one note at a time. So there's almost four parts to that really. There's the quick attack, which sort of pronounces the note. Then it sort of sustains for a while and then a bitey sort of filter sweep comes through. Once that goes away, it then goes back to a sort of sustaining sound. And then once I release the key, it sort of warbles away. So when I'm playing this and I'm playing multiple notes, this can produce a fairly complex texture with only a very short pronounced pitch initially and then an overall feel. Let's have a listen. So depending how long I hold down the keys and how quickly I release them, it will determine the overall timbral quality of the sound. Again, if I play this lower, it produces an entirely different quality altogether. So we've gone from what I would say is a fairly light, cheerful sound to a very dark sound. Again, it's about playing the keys in different octaves and also experimenting with the parameters.